this, 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 this is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. In the unauthorized music. This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. In the unauthorized music. This is a Marcus. 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 <clears throat> okay, so I went through and I put all my tracks uh, on a designated uh, bus or line that they need to be on that's inside of the, uh, the device that's inside of Reason. And as you can see, as I go through them, I got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so forth and so on. All right? Now when I play that track, I should be able to hear all the instruments. So let's go ahead and bring that track up and let's listen. <laughs> Yes, sir. And as you can see, they're all there. Okay, now, since we got all the tracks where they need to be, I'm just going to go. What I'm doing is I'm going over here and I'm <clears throat> to the far left, and I'm just going to line all these tracks up. Because actually I had one track that was way over here or whatever. Alright, <clears throat> now, this this is probably going to be a two-part tutorial because this is going to be longer than 10 minutes. So uh, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible so you guys can get it. So, alright, now that we have all the tracks and, and they're, they're all instrument tracks and uh, Pro Tools is, is dragging them and they, they got them all playing on their own track. Now all we need to do is create 11 more tracks so that we can route these tracks that's in the instrument tracks and route them to an audio track so that they will record in real time so that we can get them in and we can stop you know dragging reasons along and we can just we can just have Pro Tools take care of the track by itself and if we want to use plugins from Pro Tools or whatever we could do that so let's go ahead on and create those tracks okay we're gonna go up to track and we're gonna go to new sorry about that and we're gonna go 11 I can get it on 11. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to type it in. Okay, we got 11. And we're going to do um, stereo tracks, audio track, and then we're going to go to create. All right. Now we have all the tracks. Okay. So now what we need to do, somehow that track has got itself misplaced. Okay, let's go up to view. Here we go. It's in view and it's called narrow mix there we go alright now we got all our tracks up okay uh, we have our instrument tracks here and we have our audio tracks here now what we need to do is we need to go ahead on and have these tracks route themselves via the bus over to all the new tracks that we created alright and this is actually a pretty easy process all you have to do is designate the ends and the outputs on where the track needs to go so let's zoom in real quick and this here is the uh, output here for the instrument track so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that we're gonna go to bus and then we're gonna take that up and we're gonna designate that one and two on the bus and now we're gonna go to each track and we're gonna do the same thing three and four go to the bus five and six so forth and so on. I'm going to go ahead on and pause the video and I'm going to go ahead and do all of these and then I should be back here in just a second. You should have already designated all of your outputs on your instrument tracks to bus one, two, you know, so forth and so on. Alright, now <clears throat> you have to go to your audio tracks that you created, the 11 tracks that you created and as far as the input you need to do the same thing. Start from that first track go to the bus and go one two three four so forth and so on I'm gonna go ahead and do this I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back 
all right I'm back okay now you should have already went through your inputs on your audio tracks and designated them to bus one two three four so forth and so on for each one of your tracks if you've done all that and everything is set up correctly the way I did it you should be able to play uh, reason and have all your tracks play back on your audio tracks go ahead and enable those tracks to record all right and go up to track and make sure that you have you see where it says input only turn that into uh let's see turn that to audio input monitoring okay go ahead on down and push play and let's see what happens there we go Alright, <clears throat> now we got everything routed to where we need to route it to. Now all you gotta do is just go ahead on and push record and you can record all your tracks. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead on and record real quick and I'm gonna show you that the waveforms are recording. So let's go ahead and push record. As you can see, as you can see, this is now recording inside of Pro Tools. See, you got the waveforms here. So this track is actually recording inside of uh, inside of Pro Tools right now as we speak. So the track is dropping. All I got to do is let that go. The length of the song, which I had already had reasons to, uh, I already had reason why I programmed it all in, and all that's going to be uh, recorded, and then we're going to be ready. So. That's how you do it. That's how you uh that's how you take a track from Reason and record it directly in the Pro Tools. Uh sorry if I was a little shaky. This is my first one back, so you know I'm a little rusty, but don't trip. You know how I do it, you know what I mean? Nothing but love for the music game. So uh man, uh you know, that's how you do it, man. So y'all guys need to send me some more messages on about, you know what I'm saying, stuff that you want to know or stuff that you need to know, and I'll try to bang out a tutorial. But here in the next month, you know, I'm just going to start banging out a lot of tutorials for Pro Tools and for Reason. And uh, once again, I appreciate everybody for coming and check out the videos, man. And, um, you know, I'm going to try to keep them rolling, all right? All right, man. Y'all have a good one, man. I'll see y'all later, man. Don't forget to go to ElbowLab.com. Check out Sean Rocker's new album coming out here in probably the next couple of months. And uh, go to the website so you can download the songs, man, and support us, man. ElbowLab.com, man. I'll holler at y'all later. All right.